Pete, I've got a new vSAN cluster. How do I reserve capacity for failures? Yeah, so in recent additions with vSAN, we make this part really easy. Uh, within the capacity configuration there at the cluster level, uh, we now have an option that falls under this sort of umbrella term of reserved capacity. This, this sort of takes the place of that uh, the term that we used in the past known as Slack space. So this reserved uh, capacity is broken into two parts. There's the operations reserve, that's for some of the uh, transient activities, but then there's a, a host rebuild reserve. This is where you can simply enable it. And then that's going to factor in sort of that N plus one style approach for your vSAN cluster so that you can better ensure that when you're looking at the uh, capacity utilization, it's factoring in um, that sort of N plus one style of a design. And, and you just simply enable that. Um, it's not enabled by default, by the way. You'll, you'll have to jump in there and, and, uh, and enable that. We generally re recommend in most cases for, for you to enable it, uh, but it's really a nice uh, feature here for the recent versions of vSAN. 